unique architecture of Dongban. The charm of Hajiang is not limited to its beautiful fields of buckwheat flowers, its breathtaking roads, and authentic ethnic markets. Hajiang province is also home to amazing architectural treasures. After following the Highway 4C for about 160 kilometers from the center of Hajiang, you will arrive at Dongban Township where you should not miss a tour of the old town. Perched at 1,600 meters, Dongban Township was home to A, Hoa, and Hmong ethnicities in the early 20th century. In 1920, the old township was renovated by the French, who brought new construction materials and Western architecture. Laterite houses with stone columns and decorated with red lanterns blend harmoniously with traditional clay buildings. Most of these houses belong to the Luong Hui family. Luong Hui NGO of the Tay ethnic group says these houses are still in good condition, the houses of this type are very comfortable. It is cool in summer and warm in winter. The wall thickness can be up to 85 cm. The wall part near the door is thinner, 65 cm. To build such a house, it takes about one month with the help of six people divided into two teams. One team is responsible for carpentry and the other for masonry. The first team erects the wooden columns. Today, it is impossible to use only hardwood as in the past, so newer columns are less resistant. The second team prepares a kind of mixing clay. Located a hundred kilometers from the old quarter, the residence of Vuong, formerly named Wong King Castle is a major attraction in the region. The residence, which covers nearly 1,200 square meters, is surrounded by majestic mountains. It was designed by Vuong Chinduk, from a wealthy and powerful Hmong family, who controlled the whole Dongben region. Vu Wang Thi Cho is a fourth-generation descendant, the wages paid to architects and workmen to build the house were equivalent to 150 billion BND. The materials were all from Dong Van. You see, these two stone columns symbolize the poppy fruits. The workers rub the stone columns with silver to give them a silver color. Each column is worth about 900 million BND. Besides the main building, the residence includes several houses for guests, as well as living rooms, a heating room, and an indoor stone pool for bathing baths in goat milk. The owner constructed his residence as a fortress with tall fortified stone walls. The three rooms of the main building are surmounted by stone block houses. At the back, there is a large stone basin to collect rain water. Miss Cho says, since Tong Van Karst Park was recognized by UNESCO, more tourists visit the residence. Each month, we welcome about 3,000 visitors and on public holidays, about 1,000 tourists a day. From September, there are more foreigners arriving. The original appearance of the Vuong residence and the old town of Dong Van District has resisted the ravages of time. Their cultural authenticity seduces tourists without a doubt.